Doc, thanks. Texans were asked to conserve electricity today for fears this heat wave could max out the grid's capacity. But also today, the announcement of a scientific breakthrough that could boost our energy supply with no extra power plants. Ned Hibbert here tonight to explain. Ned? Tom, you know a penny saved is a penny earned, and the same is true of a kilowatt. Turns out a hefty chunk of the electricity that is generated never makes it to your meter. There's a problem with West Texas wind farms. Uh, they're in West Texas, hundreds of miles from Houston and Dallas. Most energy is generated far from population centers, and pushing that power through strands of copper comes at a cost. By the time it gets here, you've basically lost through heating 20% uh, of the electricity you generate, which clearly is a major waste. Eliminate that waste. There we go. And congratulations, you've just created extra energy. These tiny strands built at Rice University may hold the key. They're woven from carbon nanotubes, 50,000 times thinner than a human hair. One type of nanotube looks like a capsule made of chicken wire. This could be the magic bullet. Well, this conducts electricity better than any other material ever discovered or will be discovered. It conducts it without resistance or without loss of heating. In other words, swap it out with the classic copper and watch your savings soar. Of course, things are not quite so simple. And unfortunately, the, the carbon nanotubes that have this wonderful property are only a few of the many hundreds of types that you make. It's like there's an alphabet soup of nanotubes in this jar, but we only need the X's. They're painstaking to separate, but Rice Professor Andrew Barron and his team have figured out how to grow the good kind. Inducing the gas that's used as the reagent, the, the chemicals that react, come in here. The right catalyst makes our nanotube extend like Pinocchio's nose, perhaps bringing an energy revolution within reach. This could fundamentally change how we use power uh, on the planet. Hey, exciting, but not quite ready for prime time. Could be a decade before our power is delivered by carbon nanotube with zero waste.